Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is the $160 to $300 uh, XGQ T56 EEPROM programmer, and this is the one I have for work, and it is an awesome device. But this is the same brand, XGQ TL866 2 Plus. And this is a $70 EEPROM programmer, give or take, that does basically the same thing. And I'm gonna show you why you might want one. So as I said, I bought this expensive one for my company because I needed to program some chips that used specifically high voltage that made it uh, a not a good application for this one. But for most people, this one is what you want. So what do you do with this thing? Um, the idea is that you can take chips, they can be little chips, they can be big chips, and you pop them in the ZIF socket and you can read and find out what's on this chip. And depending on the type of chip, you can write and reprogram this chip. And uh, that gets into a whole lot of different things. Uh, for one thing, things like an Arduino like this, you can program them quickly. You can program them in bulk. If you buy a bunch of these 328Ps, you just pop it in, program, 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 and you can crank them out. Or let's say you have one of these things and you don't have the code, but you want to either duplicate it or even decompile it. Ha ha ha, that's what this thing can do. So we're gonna get into that in just a little bit. Um, there are so many uses for this thing. If you've ever used some of the uh, AT Tiny microcontrollers where you have to push a button and plug something in and stand on one foot and pray to God that the thing will actually program, you can just pop it in here and program it in a matter of seconds. No muss, no fuss. You are programming the bus. Um, but there's more you can do. So picture this. Um, a lot of network cards, especially old ones, uh, have these little empty chip sockets. And you might have wondered what they're for. Sometimes they're on the motherboard. Sometimes they're on the chip. These are what are called option ROMs. So imagine, let me explain how this works. You, whatever is on this chip will be loaded into memory at boot. I'm going to say that again. Whatever is on this chip will be loaded into memory at boot. So imagine if you could program a little chip like this and whatever you wanted would be loaded on that computer when it booted. Um, some interesting possibilities to be had there. Um, what if you have an old motherboard or even a new motherboard and you want to give it an option that isn't there? Um, well, you can actually pull this chip and read it into here and you can modify different things on your BIOS that aren't visible to the actual GUI. And then you can write it back and stick it back in your motherboard and we'll show a little bit of that. I mean, the options of what you can do with something like this are endless. Now, I don't have time to do a full tutorial because to be honest, I want to do videos on all these topics. I wanna to do videos on AT Tinies. I wanna do videos on these are little uh, flash ROMs that you can add to an Arduino, network cards, hacking motherboard biases, programming EEPROMs, clearing EEPROMs, all that kind of stuff. I wanna do it all, um, but you can't do that unless you have one of these. So I really encourage you, if you have any interest in this level of hardware hacking, um, consider picking one of these up and I'm gonna go over to the computer and I'm gonna give you just a little taste of some of the things that you can do with this. So the first thing you'll need to do is to grab the software. Now normally I would just tell you to go to the website of the company, but it took something like six hours to download a 29 meg file. So uh, if you go to my GitHub, GitHub, Mudmin, another maker, I have this EEPROM folder and you can actually download the user guide and the software here. Um, anytime you download software like that, especially from questionable sources, I recommend you take it and drag it into virustotal.com, let them go through the process of scanning the whole thing and checking against viruses and stuff like that so um but anyway the software is clean i've tested it i've been using it for a while and so we're gonna fire it up now when you first load this thing up you kind of expect it to be complicated it's got a lot going on here but it's really not that complicated uh, when you plug it in it's going to check to see if there's any firmware updates for your device itself it'll offer to update the software if you need to do that and then you just come over here and select the chip. Now I've pulled a chip from an Arduino, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna type in 328P. I'll type that in again, 328P. And um, we're gonna go to Atmel. 
and let's see here what am i missing oh all types we're going to go to atmel 328p and it's a dip the one with the pins and we're going to grab that hit select and then all we have to do is come up here and hit read uh, it's going to tell you where to put the chip in the programmer so the little dot is going to come up here toward the zip socket and uh, we're going to hit read and it'll only take a couple seconds to read the thing and now all of a sudden we have the hex code for the device. So this is a very high level overview of the TL866 2 Plus device. Um, there are some differences between these two that we're gonna get into in a different video and I'm gonna make an adapter that will make this one uh, do basically everything that this one does. And uh, But for now, like if you're interested in hardware hacking, I kinda recommend you consider picking one of these things up. And even if you're not interested in that, I recommend you subscribe to the channel and uh, and see the different things I've got because I've got some pretty creative stuff coming up with these devices. So uh, there are links in the description. Banggood sent me this one for free. I bought this one out of my own pocket. And uh, yeah, using my links helps the channel and supports me. So hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.